Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago. Live Feed is brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization geared at helping survivors of bullying, so let them help you. That's right, you heard right. Today is my birthday. Thank you so much to you guys who are sending your great wishes through either DMs or some other method. Young Blue is in the house. Thank you so much for your birthday wishes. I really, really, really do appreciate it today. So today on my birthday, we're going to do a live feed. And we're going to talk about uh, one of uh, my great followers. We're not going to say their name. Um, unfortunately, they are being bullied. And it's so bad that they had, they, they, they're staying away from uh, social media, which is, which is a good, a good thing to do. Good. It's, that's a good idea to stay away from social media when, when things like that are happening. So let's start the, the, the show off right and let you know that Live Feed is brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher for all your digital resources. Check out TravelingTechTeacher.com and also brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization geared at helping survivors of bullying. So let them help you and of course brought to you by me if i'm working this hard on my birthday it's going to be brought to you by me guys so yeah we're going to talk about that thank you for thank you for smashing that heart uh young uh real young blue and uh be sure guys whether you're watching this live or the recorded version show me some love man it's my birthday come on show me some love smash that heart uh ethan thank you for joining the show so let's see we do have a question and it's more of a statement, and it's happy birthday. Thank you. Um, and Danielle uh, joining in. Hello, Danielle. Nathan, thank you guys for joining the show. Show me some love on my birthday, guys. Smash that heart like uh, Young Blue is doing. Uh, Danielle says happy birthday. So our good, uh, one of our followers, and I tell you guys, we all have to stick together, right? One of our followers is, um, is being bullied so much that her parents had to take um, her phone away uh, so that she wasn't reading the stupid comments that were said. And unfortunately, they're starting to cut themselves. And, you know, I'm hoping, I know that their, parent, their parents always watch our show. Um, so I know that they're going to watch this episode and they're going to see it. And and I'm, I'm, I got to tell you that, please... Um, to the to the sweet little person that's being bullied, please understand that it's not you, it's them. You shouldn't go around hurting yourself. But I understand. I understand uh, why you're doing it, what you're going through, and um, just continue to love yourself. Know it's it's not you, it's them, and really, really uh, listen to your parents and listen to the people who really. Love you. Uh, Young uh, Blue says, I I just ate cheese and crackers with pepperoni on it. Awesome. Good for you. Good job. Let's see. Uh, oh, Danielle said, has a question. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, I just got done working on a video. I, I guess I should tell you guys this. I'm working with a yoga... Uh, not not a yoga. Th I almost said yoga therapist, but they're not a yoga therapist. They're a dance movement therapist, uh, and they do yoga. And we're working on a series of videos with them. We're on number eleven. I just got done editing number eleven on my computer. My computer's right right there where I work. My station's right there, and I just got done doing number eleven. So go to nonfiction filmmaker. Please support uh, us if you. Like yoga, watch our videos, subscribe, smash that thumb up, smash that thumbs up on there, and uh, support us there. We um, all all of the proceeds that we get from that will go to the bullyexposed.com. So it's, it's not going in my pocket, okay? It's not going 
anywhere but to the bully exposed. So if you go over to nonfiction filmmaker, smash, uh, smash that uh, subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you know every time we we get a video. Uh, please, please, please uh, support us there. We really need your support there. That's you know a lot of you always email me how I can't support you financially because I'm I'm in a tr I'm in you know I'm not doing too well especially with uh, the COVID situation happening. This is a way you can support us. If you tell your friends about the you know people who like yoga, tell them about it. That's a great way to support us. So how I'm doing? I am doing really good. Um, I had a good today, a good day today. I had a little bit of a scare because, uh, as you guys probably know, license license uh, when you have a license, it expires on your birthday on any given year, and uh, mine expired, and I wasn't able to renew it online. So I had to uh, call in to Las Vegas and. For them to figure out what was going on with my license in Las Vegas. And and they got it fixed. So thanks to the DMV up in Las Vegas for... It took two days, but they, they got it. They got it figured out. So now my license is good. And I'm good to go until um, April. And then uh, once I get my regular license, then I can submit that to Italy. And then they'll extend, they'll extend my... Uh, Italian license for as long as my um, American license is good for. So almost had a scare there because after the 4th, I would have not been able to drive. And um, it's not fun when when your loved one goes to work for eight hours and you're stuck in the house unable to leave. That would have not been fun for me. So I'm glad that I got that figured out. And uh, hopefully my license will get here real quick. Uh Let's see. So Young Blue, thank you for the birthday questions, guys. Says, how old are you today? Oh, <laughs> you never ask a person how old they are. I'm just kidding. I don't mind. I am 55. And just so you guys know, in uh, the Commonwealth of Guam, which is the Commonwealth of the United States, I am now a senior citizen. I am there. I am officially a senior citizen. Their senior citizens start at 55. So I am 55. Double nickel. Uh, that's how old I am. Thank you for asking that. Um, but I want to go back to our good friend and, and, all our, and all our followers and friends that are being bullied. I know the first thing you want to do is harm yourself. Uh, but please do whatever you can do. Talk to your parents. Talk to people you trust. Talk to teachers you trust. I, I hate to say it. I know there's not that many out there. I know of a few, but I know that there's not many out there, unfortunately. Some teachers do like like students do. They fall into the prey of the bully, you know, because it's easier just to go along with the bully than to say, hey, stop bullying that person, you know. Young Blue says, I don't cut myself anymore. Ooh, you used to cut yourself? Wow, I never knew that about you. I'm sorry to hear that, Blue, up, but I'm glad to hear that you don't cut yourself anymore. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, you know, for me, cutting was, were, were, you know, injuring myself in any way was was not a thing for me. And I guess... That's because I hate to admit it, but I'm gonna be honest. That's probably because I, I would confront if I had a problem with a person, I would confront them rather than hold it inside. I think um, there are some people out there, and I'm not putting you guys down. You, 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 your hearts are so big, your hearts are so big and so wonderful that you you can never tell somebody, no matter how bad they are, that hey, relax, calm down, you know. Stop being a bully. You can never tell people that. You could never tell people anything like, like um, you know, if someone was to cut you off, do something as simple as cut you off on the line. Maybe because they didn't see you, not on purpose, but maybe because they didn't see you. You're not the type of person that can say, hey, excuse me, but I was here. Um, 
So you let that happen and then it, it builds up, guys. It builds up. So it, sometimes I think it's, e it's even better to as nicely as you possibly can, as politely as you possibly can, say, hey, sir or ma'am, I'm here. I was here. You cut in front of me. Can you please go to the end of the line or go behind me? Um, I think that's okay. You know, yeah, sometimes it turns into a big argument. Sometimes you have to uh, then after that, stand up for yourself and say, hey, I'm not here to argue with you. I'm not, I don't want to argue with you. I was here. You cut in front. It's not right. Please get to the end of the line. Um, you know, it, sometimes you have to do that because it, it builds and it builds and it builds on you. I'm sure that this uh, girl, Gavin, thank you for joining the show. I'm sure that this particular follower, I won't say her name, if um, she has told me that she has stood up uh, for herself at times, and that's great. And um, probably it's getting too much. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know the situation, but I know that now it's getting too much for her. And um, so she she has to uh, she has to she's doing the right thing by staying away from social media, but. Um, you know, it's 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 really not, you know, I don't know the whole situation, so it's not fair for me to say. Um, Jazz, Jazz, Jasmine, Traz, thank you for joining the show. Um, smash that heart, guys. Again, whether you're watching this live or in the recorded version, smash that heart and listen. Double nickel for those of you that want to know. Uh, the double nickel. I'm a senior citizen now in some uh, parts of the world, I, I, I guess you could say. Uh, so if you guys have any questions for me or if you want to talk about bullying, whatever you guys want to talk about. It's my birthday, but this is your day. Whatever you guys want to talk about, guys. Um, it's all up to you guys. Uh, but I'm talking about... My particular thing is talking about one of our followers who I haven't been able to talk to online because she, um, her parents have taken her off of Instagram because she's being bullied by multiple people, not just one person. See, that's a, that goes to show you how strong this person is. This person is being bullied by multiple people, but she's still able to, to, to carry on. Uh, Gavin says, wow, happy birthday to you. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you very much. And um, Young Blue se uh, sent a song. Usually we play our theme song, but today I thought it would be great to play a birthday song. Um, we play a theme song, uh, and it's, I want to let, let you guys know that it was donated to us uh, by Real Young Blue, who creates music. If you need music for something, please get in touch with him. D send him a DM. That's Real Young Blue on Instagram, guys. All right, so let me go to my DMs here and see. And I want to thank you guys again. Uh, I said it once, but I'll say it again. I want to thank you guys who DM me or in the comments said um, happy birthday to me. I really do appreciate that. And I'm so glad that I didn't get so busy with work today that I was able to um, come on with you guys. Uh, so let's see. How come it's not playing? There it is. Okay. All right. So this is from Young Blue. Again, if you need some music for whatever you're doing, he's the guy to call. So this is Dreamland featuring Be Beta Max. Beta Max. I wonder if you, if you guys out there know what Beta. Beta used to be a type of um, way that you can watch movies like VHS. It was a way that you can watch movies. And um, what's the thing I'm thinking for? It was better than the VHS. I don't know why it didn't get it didn't get sent up. Please, please don't call me 
Just DM. I'm sorry. Did I say call? I apologize, guys. Just DM. I, I'm sorry about that, Blue. Uh, if I said call, I apologize. You know, it's really funny because when, you, when you're in a studio and you're doing a show like what I'm doing, you have people that can tell you when you say things wrong and you usually have a mic hooked up to your ear and they say, hey, you said you said this wrong, this, this is the proper thing to say and then you can correct yourself. But I'm just here in a room by myself. I'm in my office where I make my films here in Italy. Uh, so there's no one to say to me, uh, hey, you said the wrong thing. You know, and sometimes I watch some of the videos over and I realize, oops, I said this when I meant to say that. And so I do apologize for that, guys, if it happens. So don't call uh, Real Young Blue. Just DM them if you're interested in some music. All right, guys? We got we to gotta stick together as a community of, of survivors of bullying. We definitely, oops, I have to stick together. I, I pressed the wrong button there. Uh, we definitely have to stick together and, and, you know, support one another. And that's one way of supporting one another. I want, another way I want to tell you guys is you can go to our YouTube channel, Nonfiction Filmmaker. If you like, um, if you're into yoga, if you just want to learn, some, I, there's some videos up there about tutorials. We also put the, uh, versions of the show up there. So if, if you're not into Instagram or, or your friend who you want to tell about the show is not into Instagram, but they're into YouTube, you can go to a nonfiction filmmaker and see the latest show and send, and send them that. So that's another way that you can support us. As you, as you guys know, once you get a lot of followers on Instagram, then you can start making uh, money uh, by monetizing your videos. So... All the proceeds will go to thebullyexposed.com. So please uh, support us there. We really would appreciate that. So there are any other questions? Nobody wants to know anything else or any, any you guys want to talk about anything else? Uh, Blue was telling us that he used to cut himself, that he doesn't do that anymore. Um, when you were depressed, what, what types of things did you do that, that were both either negative or positive? Uh, when it comes to negative things for me when I was at the height of my bullying by the United States Postal Service and the NALC, uh, the union that's supposed to protect the letter carriers, um, I tried my best to stay positive. I know that I wasn't afraid to cry. If, if I needed to have a day where I cried, I cried. I didn't care um, what people would think. I mean, I wouldn't I wouldn't cry in front of my bullies, and that's something that I don't suggest to anyone doing. Um, but if I needed to cry, I went somewhere off on my own, and I did my crying. Because, you know, I, I taught you guys this, uh, or I've told you guys this, I should say. Maybe you've learned it somewhere else. Maybe you learned it with me. There's ways that your body gets rid of toxins, right? It's uh, urinating. When you uh, have a bowel movement and when you sweat, and there's also, and I don't talk about it that much, but I should, there's also when you cry. A, a doctor told me when you cry as well. So it gets rid of a lot of toxins, and I think both mentally, uh, physically, and uh, emotionally it does. So when the doctor told me that recently, I said, yeah, he's right, he's right. So. Your body gets rid of toxins when you cry. So don't hold it. Don't be afraid to cry. Go out there and cry and um, release yourself. You know, that's the way I look at it. Gavin says we need to know, know to stay safe and healthy. Healthy. God bless you and great birthday weekend. Love you. <laughs> Thank you, Gavin. Love you too, my man. Uh, yes, I'm. Uh, I don't know what my family has for me. What, but what, what I think we're gonna try out a new Mexican restaurant here in Italy. We don't get to see a lot of that Mexican restaurants. Uh, they do have restaurants. Just if you guys are wondering, they do have restaurants from other uh, countries, um, and uh, we definitely. We uh, 
We definitely have tried a few of them. Uh, but this time we're going to try Mexican. I think then that will be the first time I've tried Mexican. Uh, Bar Barber685, thank you for joining the show. Smash that heart for that great thing, uh, great comment that Gavin said. Whether you're watching this live or recorded, it doesn't matter. And don't forget, you can go and watch this episode in a few hours on YouTube. If, again, if you prefer to watch YouTube. Uh, and... Having a virtual birthday party um, today. I thought this was your song. It's not. I'm sorry. Let me let me get back into that. I don't want to be playing other people's music because it could be copyright. Uh, so I apologize for that. But now we're back with Young Blue. Um. So yeah, guys, if you. Are being bullied? Try, 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 try your hardest not to uh, get into a point where you want to commit suicide or if you're cutting yourself. Try your best to stay positive. Do things that you like to do. I know it's hard because you don't have the motivation, but do things that you love to do, guys. That's the important thing to do. Do things that you love to do so that um, you stay positive. That's the important thing. And I know, and believe me, I know it's hard. I've been there. I've been there. I know it's hard. I know it's hard to want to do the things you like to do. But um, you have to try. And Young Blue says, bye, my tutor is here. Okay, have fun learning. Smash that heart before you go. And again, guys, whether you're watching this live or in a recorded version, smash that heart. Uh, so, Barba, what's up? So, we got Barba. That's a new name I, have. I haven't heard. Barba6, how are you doing? Uh, you know, so, what? there's a lot of uh, people who, who just want to... Want to think like this, shock jocks, you know, and and try and and be these funny guys by shocking and by saying ridiculous things. We talked about a YouTuber the other day that uh, told their their one of I guess one of the subscribers or one of the people that were listening uh, to them that their mother must have not loved them because they died of cancer. Such a ridiculous and such a stupid thing to say. But I'm willing to bet, like I said on the show when we talked about that, that if um, if they are, uh, if you knew these people very well, you, these, you would probably find out that these people have lost someone that they, that they loved a great deal. And um, so that's the thing that we have to remember when people send us stupid texts or send us stupid comments on Instagram that or whatever, wherever they're sending them from, that when they say these ridiculous things, they're not talking about us. They're talking about themselves. And I know that that, that, that sounds corny and cliche and the whole nine. Believe me, I know that. It does, but it's the truth. It is the truth. You, there's been numerous times that I would hear somebody say something, and they turn around and they talk some more. They talk some more. You get to know them, and then you realize what they said had to didn't have to do with you. It had to do with them. You know, sort of like the, the example that I used, this woman said, your mother didn't love you because she died of cancer just basically to get rid of you. She had to get rid of, she wanted to get away from you so much that she died is basically what the person said. And 
I bet that uh, if you tune in, to, if you really get to know her, someone in her life died, or someone in her life passed away. Maybe it was her mother too. That's why she felt she had to say that. And then, and and that happens all too often. All too often that happens that people say these things, but it's really about them, and that's what we have to we have to think of. That's what we have to think of when we when we hear these these stupid things that are repeated or said to us. Um, we have to think that you know even you know me. I'm the type of person that asks my bully. So why? So why did you say that? What happened to you? What happened to you in your life? That you want, that you felt that you have to say that to me. Uh, Barbara says, good morning, my bro. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Uh, so, morning. So, where are you from that it's morning where you're at? Let's see. Um, uh, in Australia, it's about 5 o'clock. So, you could be in Australia. So, it's, it's about 6 o'clock in the morning in Australia. Let's see. New York is is three o'clock in New York already. Okay, three o'clock in New York. He could be in Bangkok if he's three in the morning. Where you from, my brother? So we gotta we gotta keep that in mind, guys. We gotta keep that in mind. That when these people are saying their stupid words, they're not talking to us. They're not talking to you. They're not talking to me. They're talking about themselves, actually to themselves, but they're using you as a form of it, and it makes them feel good, unfortunately. And call them on it. That's the way I look at it. Call them on it. Say, did that make you feel good? You know what I mean? It's, it, um, don't do that unless you're prepared to and, and are able to defend yourself because I, I'm sure that from there it will, it's going to escalate. Don't be rude about it. But to me, I find that when I say to people, hey, let's, let's, let's analyze this. Come on, let's sit down and analyze this. I'm not here to make fun of you. I'm not here to put you down. I'm here to help you with your situation. You know, if you're going to tell me my mother died uh, just to get away from me, what happened in your life that will make you say that? And I am sure that if you can get that person to be honest and, you know, and get them to open up, you're going to find that a lot of the things that they said matched up with what they said to you. Doesn't, you know, that doesn't make any sense, you know, what that person said. But if you match it up, they would tell you that they feel that their mother didn't love them because their mother left, or a father, or an uncle, or a brother, someone left in their life uh, from some horrible disease. And it's stupid. It truly is stupid. There is no way around it. But this is how they think. And... Um, you can't control that, so be more concerned with what you can control, and don't worry about what you can't control. That's the way I look at it. Uh, Gavin says, I'm so sorry your mother died for your loss. I'm sorry. No, no, no. <laughs> my mother is very well alive, living in New York. Not my mother. Uh, someone else's mother passed away, and, um, and, uh, this person was made, it was pretty much putting them down. And um, I was just using it. If someone said it to me, I wouldn't be hurt. Even if my mother had passed away, I wouldn't be hurt. I would be more cons concerned with why they said that. What's going on with you? So that you can analyze your life and you can be a little better with yourself. And we got into some song that's not blues again. Sorry, blue. Um, so, let's see, 
Oh, Melbourne, Australia. Look at that. I hit it. I hit it right on the head. 7 a.m. over here, man. Just getting ready for work. Awesome. I'm glad that you can tune in uh, with us while you guys are getting ready for work in Australia. Uh, that's awesome. You know, it's really funny. I used to live, I don't know, uh, Barbara, if you know where Guam is, but Guam is right above Melbourne. And I have friends in Melbourne, and there was a time that, there's a time frame where Guam and Melbourne are in the same time zone. So I know that when I call my friend, I know that I, whatever time it's in, in my time zone, it's in their time zone. So I used to love living there for that reason. And at that time, we had a lot more followers from Australia. Got to, glad to see that some followers from Australia are still joining us. So, so glad. Thank you so much. Man, my homeboy, my young, older cousin just got driven by four days ago. Dri I'm sorry. Just got dri drift, dri drived. A drive-by, oh, well, I'm so, oh my God, so sorry. Okay, I got a drive-by four days ago. Was he hurt? Did I say that right? I, I don't know if, if it's me, I'm tired, or what? Me and my homeboy, my older cousin, just got drive to by Okay, so he just got drive-by. So someone committed a drive-by on him. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Is he hurt? Is he okay? Is he in the hospital? What's What's going on? So um, while we're waiting for him to answer, yeah, that's uh, uh, that's really sad. Uh, the first drive-by killing in Australia. Wow, really? Wow, that's such a punkish thing to do, isn't it? Shoot a bunch of people and keep driving off. Well, I hope they catch them. I always thought that was such a a a cowardly thing to do. I really do. And uh, so sad. First one, huh? Wow. Well, I hope everything turns out for uh, your cousin. Um, that's sad. That's really sad. But again, yeah, very cowardly thing to do. I always thought that was a cowardly thing to do. Something a coward, something a, a bully would definitely do, that's for sure. So, uh, any other questions you guys may have before we, we close out on this session? Again, I want to thank everyone who had birthday wishes uh, for me. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I'm glad that I was able to get my work done early today so I could come on and talk with you guys. Uh, let's see. And it has to be my my boy's brother. It's this people with not, an autistic personality disorders that um, blank, blank stuff up. Yeah, that's true. Let's see, Gavin says, my girlfriend died in February. Her name is Julie, Julia and had, had, a, had a heart attack? No, no, her heart stopped. And she is in the hospital. She had Down syndrome in, in heaven. I miss Julia. That's, that makes me cry. I'm so sorry to hear that, Gavin. And don't be afraid to, to cry, Gavin. Don't ever be afraid to cry. You know, to me, a real man cries. That's all I have to say to you guys. A real man cries. You know, you may not... I agree when people say people should... You know, people say men shouldn't cry in public. Uh, I believe that no person should cry in public um, when they're being bullied. Um, if you see something... You know, that overwhelms you with, with emotional joy, by all means. And it brings you to tears, by all means. But when you're being bullied, I don't think anyone should. And maybe, I know, there's going to be doctors out there 
that, you know, a doctor's of emotion and they're going to tell me that's the wrong thing to tell anyone. But I, I think in the long run, it really, really helps um, not to do that in front of your bully. But by all means, when you get a second, where if you have to walk away from a situation and cry your heart out, that's, that's when you do it. That's the way I look at it. That's the way I think it should be. Uh, but you don't have to follow what I say. That's what, that's how I feel life should be for me. You know, I also feel that if someone bullies someone and they commit suicide, that that person should go to jail. So I got a lot of things that I think about. You know, that's the way I look at it. So, you know, that's going to do it for us on this episode of Live Feed with your host, Richard Santiago. I want to thank Gavin. I definitely want to thank uh, Barbara685. Have a good day at work today, Barbara. Thank you for stopping by on my virtual party. I do, do appreciate it. Uh, glad to again to see Australia in the house. So glad to see it. As it's been a while since I've seen Australia in the house. Uh, so thanks so much. Thanks to the real Young Blue who created this song, by the way, guys. Thank you, Young Blue. Uh, Jazz, thank you for joining us. Uh, who else? Danielle, thank you for joining us. Ethan came on and said hello. Thank you. Smash that heart one time, guys. Show me some love on my birthday. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Uh, and I'll talk about it on the show. I think it's better to post on the comments than to post in a DM questions because if you post in the comment section, it starts a, a conversation going, you know, and maybe s someone can bring up something that you never thought about or bring up something that I never thought about. I don't claim to know everything about bullying. Uh, so when you put it in the comment section, I think it's so much better. And please don't forget, check out our YouTube channel at uh, Nonfiction Filmmaker. Subscribe, smash that heart, hit the bell notification on both, Inst I believe Instagram has a bell notification now, on both Instagram and on uh, a Nonfiction Filmmaker um, YouTube channel so that you're notified every time we post. We're putting up some great yoga videos up there, so you might want to, you know, they might help you out. So remember that Live Feed is brought to you by Traveling Tech Teacher for your digital resources. Check out TravelingTechTeacher.com and brought to you by TheBullyExposed.com, a 501c3 nonprofit organization geared at helping survivors of bullying, so let them help you. And remember, guys, anyone can wear the crown. Anyone can be a hero. Thank you for stopping by at my virtual party and be kind to one another. Bye.